a good one. And um, what I'm just talking about is uh, not uh, welcome back if you, you're not new here. Um, so today we're going to talk about cryptocurrency and understand people's minds, I guess. So this might be interesting for you guys, or maybe not be. I've been looking at crypto and trading and stuff. The cryptocurrency, it's like trading, is all pretty much the trading, making money, day trading. It's all about understanding people's mindsets, right? And doing the opposite. So say some, it's the market's going down, you start to buy it up. When the market's going up, you try to average down. You sell up more and more and more until you get to the time point where you sell out well, completely. There's one problem with that. You can't guarantee the market will either go up, keep going up, or you can't guarantee the market keep going down. The one thing you can guarantee is profit, right? If you are selling against the price of cryptocurrency, right, you got to see yourself profit margin. So you might see yourself a ten dollar profit margin a day, a twenty dollar profit margin a day, and if you can make twenty bucks a day selling that cryptocurrency or buying it, then that's a good thing. And that's where emotions come in. Trading, like anything, is an emotion-based subject, and it's hard. I'm meh. Yeah, I've lost a lot more money than I gained. So far on my Naga app, which is a website I use to trade, um, I'm down almost thirty thousand US dollars, which is almost forty five thousand New Zealand dollars, not more. Which I could have enough to buy a house, but we won't talk about that. Huh? Very, very hard lesson to learn. You know? Learning lessons from that stuff. Is good. One thing I could say is, yeah, don't trade as big as I did. I lost eight hundred bucks in one day on one on one single trade. Right? I thought to be smart, like I was making two hundred bucks a day. Two hundred bucks a trade. I'm like, wow! I had ten grand in my account. Like that's nothing. Two hundred bucks a day. I've been doing this for weeks. I have enough money to not even go back to work. Now I was planning on not going back to work, and then I ruined it. I tried, got too greedy, and I ruined it. Mark went the wrong way, and I ruined it. So, trading and buying crypto and selling crypto is a mindset game. Number one, mindset game. Number two, understanding the purpose of a cryptocurrency. Like reading my free white paper, if you don't understand the basic of the cryptocurrency and what's it used for, and there's like six or seven. Um, the categories you can categorize it, right? You have utility, like what's it used for to just store money? Uh, is, is like XOP where you can transfer money easily and cheaply? Is it a like utility? Does like what's the utility of it? What's the what the purpose? Um, can it be? Is is there anything out there that's faster than it? Is it is what makes it stand out? And so the same thing XLP and XLM. For them, they they are cross border solutions. And they facilitate facilitate transferring money very quickly because and very cheaply. One XLP, I think point zero 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 one XLP, is like point zero 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 seven cents. Yeah, it's cheap. To understand the basics of what the cryptocurrency does, or you can just be like um. Some people who just go the dollar cost averaging to BTC, to Bitcoin, and Ethereum. But I don't know. That's just me. Um, I'm currently out that market. I have an XRP sitting there for now, which is earning passive income, I guess. Passive income. Um, I'm not into that farming stuff and finance and DeFi and stuff. Um, I have money on. I have some money on Nexo, which is apparently the safest platform to use. Which is no, um, it's they don't loan money to like big companies really. 
without having any backing for it, so I don't know. Cryptocurrency is a game to play. There's like stocks and bonds and all the other stuff. Which I, I I put money into my stock account, which I have fifty bucks a week, which is not much, but by the time I retire, fifty bucks a week times a year, it would, it would say it was hundred fifty two thousand fifty two hundred bucks, maybe in the half is twenty six hundred a year. For what I'm twenty four, so another fifty forty years. So I've got two thousand that's eighty grand plus my Kiwi savers should be at like 100k, so we can get closer. And then plus also the appreciation, you know, of all the, all the assets in there should end up to be somewhere around I don't know a million dollars, which is not much to retire on. But um, I think it's good to look to your for the future. Um, it's also under, you've got to understand your risk appetite. Um, you, I like with stocks and bonds and stuff. As how um, they pay out good dividends. They're not good. Are you are you drifting trader? Are you so on so forth? Like, what's your purpose of investing? Purpose to trade. Purpose to invest for your retirement. There's your purpose for like at the moment. I'm investing in high dividend stocks. And then I reinvest that money that I get from them after the tax back into the stocks, making me a dividend portfolio. Yeah. Many options crypto, stocks, bonds, and you've got credit notes, and then you've got credit default swaps, and all that fun stuff. Like, you can invest in mortgages, you can invest in anything really. Cars, older cars, some of them go up in price, like the old Mazda RX-7, the, the Pokemon cards, painting, like there's, like there's a website now that does shares in million dollar paintings, which you have to have like 500 bucks US. Then you've got what, yeah, um, like Paul's, Website where it does shares in like Pokemon cards and um, trading cards, stuff like that, you know? There's lots of ways to diversify um, your investment portfolio. It's really what you know, what you want to learn and understand, really, in the day. So, I'll leave you with this. What do you want to invest in? It's up to you. But, what shall I look at next? What 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 have I messed up in terms of investing? Bitcoin. Hmm, digital gold. 